Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So first of all, just log in with the credentials and now just simply click on this agree and continue. Just wait for a second. And now here just simply search for the bucket and open this thing in new tab. Now just go back to the lab instructions. And from here, here you can see bucket name. So just copy this bucket name. Come back to your bucket, click on create. Wait for a second. Now just paste your bucket name, click on continue, continue and here just simply click on continue now here just simply uncheck this checkbox and from here just choose the fine grains then again click on continue and just simply click on create and you are done with the task number one now for the task number two just copy your topic name now here just simply search for the pub sub and open this thing in new tab okay just wait for a couple of seconds and here you will get the option for create topic now just simply click over here now paste your topic id and just simply click on create and you are done with the task number two as well now task number three is very important so i request you please pay attention over here so first of all just copy your cloud function name copy this and now here just simply search for the cloud function open this thing in new tab wait for a second click on create function now just change the cloud function name and for the region just simply scroll down and here you can see for me the region is us east 4 for you it might be different so just choose the region accordingly so i'm just going to choose us east 4 okay now for the trigger type it must be cloud storage and for the event type it must be finalizing and creating okay now just simply click on browse wait for a second and choose the bucket which you created on task number one now just simply click on save now here click on this down arrow and for the maximum number of instance it must be three okay make sure you have to change to three and make sure your configuration page must look like this if it's so just simply click on next now this is a very important part of the lab so i request you please pay attention over here first of all the runtime it must be node.js version 14 and for the entry point just simply come on the task number three and copy this thumbnail make the changes over here now for the index.js just copy this code and make the changes over here like this and just cross verify the number of lines of code for index.js it must be 65 if it's not just refresh the page and again copy the code now what we have to do just copy this topic id and come back to uh, line number 15 and here you can see just replace the topic id over here carefully like this and once you're done with this now just simply go back to the package.json okay now again scroll down now copy this make the changes over here and for the package.json number of lines of code must be 18 and just cross verify the runtime must be 14 and uh, entry point must be thumbnail if it's so just simply click on deploy now this is going to take a couple of minutes meanwhile just simply scroll down copy this thing or you can say copy this path do not copy that semicolon let me just zoom in for you copy this path carefully go back to the your incognito window paste over here and just simply save this file to your local system no need to make any other changes make sure that you just need to save this file okay now just wait for to this thing to be done and once your cloud function is done or you can say created we have to just upload that file to bucket so just wait for a couple of seconds and let's see And it is finally done as you can see now just go back to your bucket and here click on this upload files and from here just choose your file which you downloaded in the previous task okay so it's done just wait for a couple of seconds and let's see 
and it will be uploading and it's uploaded over here okay now just simply come back over here and check the score for task number one now check the score for task number two we will get the score without any error now just simply scroll back and click on this check my progress for task number three we will get the score without any error and if you didn't get a score on the first attempt no need to worry just wait for a couple of minutes and again click on the check my progress you will get a score on task number three without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section guys thanks for watching and have a good day